In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I am in dearly beloved in Christ, and Father, Iman, allow you. Now I share with you a touch of God's love as a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Sunday, 10th September 2023. The readings are taken from Ezekiel 33, 7 to 9, Psalm 94, 1 to 2, 6 to 9, Romans 13, 8 to 10, and Matthew 18, 15 to 20. The theme of the reflection is how to avoid punishment how to avoid punishment. In the first reading, the Lord says to Ezekiel, Son of man, I have appointed you as watchman to the house of Israel. When you hear a word from my mouth, warn them in my name. If I say to a wicked man, wicked wretch, you are to die. When you do not want the wicked to renounce his ways, then he shall die for his sins but I will hold you responsible for his death. If, however, you do warn a wicked man to renounce his ways, and he does not repent, then he shall die for his sin, but you will have saved your life. Son of man could symbolize anyone. A wicked person of a sinner. Thus, the text implies that we all have the responsibility to share the word of God with others. If people die physically or spiritually due to our failure to share God's words, it will bring us some punishment. Thus, one way to avoid punishment is to try to share the word of God with people who need it. Some Israelites failed to do this, to take this seriously, so they were punished. That is why the Psalm says, Oh, that today you will listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Mariva, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test and they tried me to they saw my work. The second reading asks more by teaching us that to avoid punishment, the only thing we should owe people is love. It goes on to say that love is the only thing that does not hurt people and is the answer to all the commandments. The one who loves, the one who loves everyone, will not commit adultery, will not kill, will not steal, will not covet another's property or wife, will not commit any sin. It means the only thing we should do to or which people should be acts of true love, nothing else. The Gospel completes it by teaching us that to avoid punishment, when people hurt us, we should forgive them and try to reconcile with them. This is not easy. It's not easy at all. Forgiving them is quite easier, but going a step further to take the initiative to reconcile with them is very difficult. We need the grace of God. And the Gospel says we must go to the extent of trying to do it by ourselves. If that fails, we have to involve a second or third person. If that fails, we have to involve church leadership. If that fails, we have to treat the person as a pagan, that is, as someone who lacks faith and therefore pray for his or her conversion. If we don't do this, we will be punished because whatever we buy on earth is bound in heaven, or whatever we agree upon with others is agreed upon in heaven. Because where two or three are gathered in the Lord's name, he is there in their midst. What we bind is similar to what we agree on, what we buy or lose, is similar to what we agree on. Yes, so if we agree to live in conflict, it will receive a heavenly punishment. And if we agree to live in reconciliation, it will receive a heavenly reward. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, receive the grace to share the word of God to all who need it. In the name of Jesus, the only thing you will do with other people will be acts of love, true love. In the name of Jesus, receive the courage to reconcile with all who are in conflict with you. Amen.
Praise you, God's love. I subscribe to this YouTube channel and share my discuss of this message with others. Subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.